hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft video. This is Mythical Sausage. How is everybody doing? Oh man, we are back again doing another village transformation, but this time we're in the Minecraft 1.16 nether update and I just can't wait to get this started. We're going to be mixing in all the old blocks with all the new blocks from Minecraft's nether update and it's going to be so much fun. This is super inspired by some medieval fantasy that I'm doing right now in my single player world. So if you guys want to catch that, there's a link in the description. Go ahead and check that out. Also, this this is up for world download to all my tier 2 Patreons and tier 2 YouTube supporters. So check right now either the Patreon page or the community tab to check it out and download it for yourself. It's a Java 1.16 world. Go have fun and let's get this started. I'm going to check with you guys at the end and we're going to do a little bit of a walk around and a tour. And for all those that download the world, there's going to be a lot of little Easter eggs scattered around. Hopefully you guys have fun exploring this map. Definitely one of my favorites. Let's go.
there it is. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that time lapse. I had so much fun playing around with all these new nether blocks and mixing it in with the old school blocks. I just love this village. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. But really quick, let's take a quick little tour and let me show you a little bit of the details you might have missed from the time lapse. Oh man, and coming into town right here, there's a couple cool things. Basalt for paths. It is the new meta right now. This is the thing. This is the one you got to use right now. It's so cool. Mixing in a little bit of cobble with some mossy, a little bit of uh, coarse dirt as well. It's a very, very cool path. And if you notice, all of our crop fields right here are surrounded in a mixture of basalt, blackstone, and a little bit of cobble as well. And that's a really good combination for mixing in these crop fields right here. We got some carrots, we got potato, we got wheat, we also got some really cool light fixtures right here there's, a, there's two mixes well three technically we got these with the four we got those that have the two and then we have just a single ones here uh on the path right here those little ones right there which is really awesome uh i love those light fixtures right there oh uh, really super simple too to make uh as we come on down here this is almost like a little bit of a welcoming center and when i was done building it i kind of noticed red white and blue uh happy fourth of july everybody there you go uh but it's a really really cool combo and i've been loving uh mixing in the bricks with the whites and the roof i love that warp block stripped oh it's just my favorite go-to roof pattern mixing in some spruce or some dark oak very very cool as well i love that this right here this is one of my favorite builds here in this area but we got a little bit of an overpass right here and all of these are a fully interiorized right here check it out boom everything has interior top to bottom i'm gonna leave uh some of these as easter eggs so you guys can check it out if you do download the world and again it is only for patreons and youtube supporters i had to do it like that because a lot of people have been stealing a lot of our maps and claiming it as their own so i apologize before we used to do it uh just for everybody but now it's kind of behind uh youtube supporters and and uh and patrons but hopefully you guys understand but over here we got our bell right here in this little gazebo meeting area which is really really cool it definitely works the villagers do run away and we do have them here. This is broken. It's broken, whatever. Uh, coming over here, this build. Oh, so cool. We got a bunch of lectures on the outside as decorations, but we ended up making a lot of librarians, which is pretty good because then we can get a bunch of many books. You're piercing. I don't like you. Uh, what do you got? Loyalty. I don't like you either. We can re-roll all of these. Oh, I like you. But over here, coming this way, we got a couple other little houses on this side. Look at the little quaint interior right there. Oh, so cool. And then we got a little one at a diagonal. And we did mix a lot of these new nether blocks with the old stuff. So you notice we got some uh, of the oak with some of the stripped crimson over here on the side and mix in some bricks on the top. This one, we use some blackstone mixed with some dark oak. And this is an awesome combination right here with the light uh, blue bottom over here that the, uh, the stem block does. Oh, so good. This build is so cool this is a tavern slash inn and there's a little cart in the front we got some light fixtures this goes off into the wilderness right there to expand that way and if you guys do download the world and use this for yourself and you do decide to expand it send me pictures on twitter on discord instagram any one of those i would love to see if you guys do expand this bad boy oh and i, I can see uh, a lot more growth from this style all the way around plenty of space that way but check out this right here the chains change the game for signs and this is a very cool sign i've used to use this style back in the day in my single player world in season one i had this in my tavern and in but adding the chains adding the walls and those fixtures right there just make it look so realistic you could definitely see like a little little sign there as an in let me show you a little bit of this interior though coming on in we got our bartender and our chef right here hanging out uh we definitely have some cool kegs here uh full of lovely tasty uh non-alcoholic beverages that's right and then we got a little smoker here on the back we also have some seats here on the front nice bar area up here on the top we have a cool in section right here hey how you guys doing oh man we got a lot of librarians oh i love it uh we got a spot to sleep over here we got a spot to sleep right there the spiral staircase takes us to the tippity top and then up here we got a little uh seating area a little library and then here's another area perfect and then we have another area over here as well look at that now back outside we have these cool market stalls if you notice in the time lapse it was the old school stalls it was pretty small pretty simple i think we ended up transforming them pretty nicely without going too overboard like that thing but it's looking pretty cool if you notice over here this one's selling uh some vegetables over here we're selling some potions and then over here we're just selling some flowers very very cool there's a kitty cat around here somewhere uh and then coming down this way this one is uh is a cool one i really do like this one hanging lights over here on the front in the back we got a little pop-out extension the color combos for this one i love the block palette what do you guys think of the block palette for that one that is a cool one uh coming over here we got a little chicken coop tiny is chicken coop and uh right here on the outside it's very super simple oh thanks for the eggs uh there's a cat stuck in here there it is 
That cat thinks he's a chicken. I don't know what's wrong with him, but he's fine. Oh, you want to go upstairs to go to sleep? Good night. Oh, there's two of you. Only one of you are allowed upstairs. Yep, sorry. Then over here, we got ourselves a little shepherd's hut right there in the back. A bunch of sheep just hanging out over here. This is our uh, shepherd's hut. This is a fully diagonal one with a color combo for this one. The white with that that fuchsia color of the crimson stem stripped. Oh, that is a that is a go-to combination for me. I'm going to see a lot more of these. Uh, so far, which has your, been your favorite? I love that big boy over there, but this diagonal. Oh, so cool. Now, over here, we got a tiny little barn. This right here. Look at the block palette for this one. We had some orange here with some strips, uh, spruce there on the outside. We have the dark oak right there on the top with the... Uh, the warp block, oh, so cool. Big old chandelier as you come on in here. And then we have a section for pigs, mushrooms. We got double cows right there. Oh, this is an awesome one. Let me know if you guys want a tutorial on any specific one. And I'll see if I can set one of these up very, very soon. But then over here, this is probably going to be a lot of people's favorites. This is the blacksmith. I think this is my personal favorite blacksmith of all time. But check this out. We got a lot of smithies out here hanging out. Uh, we got smithing tables. We got some grindstones. We got extra storage here on the top. In the inside, we got a big old forge right here. Some coal on the side. This is the head blacksmith hanging out. And this build right here. Oh, chandelier hanging down from the center. We got a uh, storage spot over here. Cool tinkering. And then over here, we got a little sleeping area for them. That is awesome. Look at this thing. Ooh! Then coming around here to the outside, we got a very cool horse stable right here. Spots for three horses right there. Looking pretty cool. And then this little middle section we have uh, just for extra storage of hay. Uh, you know, a little anvil action to fix the horseshoes, right? There's no horseshoe in my car. That's fine. And then we got a big old sleeping area. Big old king size bed uh, for one or, or three people i don't know uh on the outside i love this spot over here this is our windmill very simple but i love a simple windmill just with a very compact design for the blades i try to come up with some new designs here they come in around the back over here i have a awesome greenhouse originally i was just going to put the greenhouse on the outside and have it with an attachment to a house but i decided to make the whole thing a greenhouse so if you come on in right here we have a section for all of our plants and flowers here on this side little wall dividers over here on this side and this side but then the glass roof all the way around there's our bees so we got a bunch of bees in here having fun and uh, so this is technically an atrium right there we call it is that what it's called i think so but we got our bees here in this side and we got our plants over here on this end this has to be one of my top three greenhouses of all time what do you guys think rate it w uh, top three top one <laughs> i love this one this is pretty cool then coming down over here i had to have a fishing spot this right here custom pond right there haven't done a custom pond in a very long time Oh, I have a tutorial on the channel if you guys want to check that one out. But this one came out really, really cool. We got a bunch of fish down here. Tropical fish, salmon, all hanging out. No cod because they're ugly. But at least we got salmon and all that. This is looking pretty cool. What do you guys think of this fishing pond? Also, we got a fishing rod right here if you just want to hang out and do some fishing. Uh, it's just for decoration. Don't fish. And then last but definitely not least, we have a really awesome custom nether portal right here with all the biomes oozing out. <laughs> it's looking so cool. We got the crimson forest over here. We got the, uh, what's this one? The warp, warp one and the crimson one right there hanging out with a very cool broken like ruined nether portal technically i transformed it because it was a broken ruin one I just made it a little bit cooler but what do you guys think of this nether portal so so cool i love it love it so much but that's it <laughs> that's all there is to it hopefully you guys enjoyed this time lapse and tour around the village let me know what you guys think let me know if you guys want to see more of these transformations maybe a different styles let me know in the comment section i'll be down to make another one i am doing a village uh for each nether biome i have one currently in the warp warp forest so let me know if you guys want to see more of those as well i got a couple cool ideas coming down on the channel so thank you all so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed i'll catch you guys on the next Minecraft video. Goodbye.